All right, guys. So today's video, we're talking about the Desview T3 teleprompter. This is an easy to use teleprompter for YouTube videos. So I'll be sharing with you how you can set it up and how to use it. Most especially if you are an iPhone or an Android user. So if you are using smartphone for your content creation, then this is the video for you. Most of the videos online are for cameras, but this time around, let me share with you how you can set it up and use it with your smartphone, which I'm currently using right now. Without wasting much of your time about the motor here, let's talk about this. Let's get down to business. Before we continue with the setup of this video, let me share quickly with you the price. The price of this Desview T3 teleprompter here in Nigeria is 100,000 Naira, which is equivalent to about 56 US dollars, thanks to the exchange rate. But if you are ordering from AliExpress, you are going to be getting it for about 80 US dollars. So you can get it from Amazon or AliExpress or from Nigeria, our local sellers here. You can also go to their shops and get one for yourself. With that being said, there's just one more thing you need to complete the setup of this guy, which is an AAA battery. You need two, just two of that AAA battery and you are good to go. That is the only thing you are going to be needing. And let's set it up. So here is the box. And just as I said before, we come to the table. I told you, you'll be needing this AA battery. Please note, it is not this big one. We need this very tiny one. We call it tiny here in Nigeria. So as you can see the size, very small one. So this is what you need, two of them, and you are good. Now. Let's unbox and bring out all the components and set them up. So you are going to see the manual. You can go through that if you want to go through on how to mount it. But I'm going to be sharing with you how to do it. And the second thing you are going to see here is the best view certificate. All right, let's keep that aside. And the next thing you are going to see is the accessory box. Here in the accessory box, you can find things like the settings and everything, the cutout. So we'll come back to that. The next thing is the remote. That is the teleprompter remote. So let me quickly mount that. Let me put the battery. And inside the remote pack, you are going to see the remote user manual. So in case you want to use it for VR or gamepad, you can also go through that. Well, it is easy to set up if you are using it with a mobile phone. So now go to the back of the remote, as you can see, it comes with these buttons. Go to the back of the remote, slide it up like this and put your battery inside. As you can see, this way, take the second one. The plus should be facing here. And that is it. So once you have done that, now you can return the cover securely and push in good now there's a button here which is the switch on button to so press all this for three seconds you are going to see a red light and that means it is switched on as you can see it is blinking that means you should connect it to a smartphone or whatever you want to connect it to for example i'll be using an iphone here so i'm going to switch on the bluetooth of the iphone right now Go to the settings of the smartphone and scroll to Bluetooth and switch it on. Now, once I switch it on, it's going to discover this view. Same method applies to Android phone. And once you see Bluetooth pairing request, select pair and it will be connected instantly. Now, the next thing to do is to download this view app, which is available on Google Play Store and Apple App Store. I've downloaded it on my iPhone here and also on my Samsung smartphone here. So when you tap on it, it's going to open up like this. Also, when you tap on it on your iPhone, it's going to open up like this. So you have to give the permission for location sometimes. Okay. And once you are done, it will open up the teleprompter app. There is just one shortcoming of this teleprompter app, which I think the developers should work on. I'll be mentioning that as the at the end of the video. So just stay tuned and let's continue with the rest of the video. Once you have your Desvi app downloaded and installed, 
then you can now add the script or the outline of what you want to say. Now, here is where you are going to do the outline. Just select, okay, let me go back a bit. Select new lines and you can type in whatever you want to, you know, put in there. And once you are done, select done, select finish. You have to put a title also. Put a title, boss, select finish. And you can see boss here. So we'll be using this dev view default script here to do it. As you can see, I've already changed this. So if you want to mirror it, you have to side it this way and place it by the glass. That is the glass of this teleprompter. Okay. So when we get to that stage, I'm going to share with you what you need to do. So quickly, let's minimize that and set this guy up. The last but not the least is the mirror of the teleprompter itself. That is a big, big box. And I think that is all. So that is all in the box. Let me keep this aside. Now we have the remote here, the accessories here, and we have the box here. One thing I need to tell you before I start setting it up is that this guy comes with a switch by the side here. Okay. It comes with a switch by the side. Please note that if you want to use it for game or VR, you have to slide it down to game or VR option. And if you want to use it for just normal smartphones or tablet or whatever, you have to put it in key. Just put it in key here and you are good to go so that all these buttons will work fine for you. Now, the first thing to do is to remove this glass. As you can see, Remove this glass and this is what you are going to be using for your teleprompter. Now at the back of it, you can see it comes with this adjusting part. So depending on the kind of phone you are using, you are going to adjust it. But the first thing to do here is to remove this slide or this covering. Just remove it and keep it safe. Now you go to your accessory box. Here is one that comes with 49 millimeter and slide it in like this. And the next thing to do is to now get the phone holder. You can find the phone holder in your accessory box here. I'm going to bring it out here. This is the phone holder. Okay. And you are going to screw it to this side. There are two holes there actually, so you can choose any of these, but I'm going to be screwing mine to this side of the teleprompter glass or body. So here is what you are going to do. You have to unscrew this guy here. You unscrew this guy like this. Okay. Carefully, there is a washer that comes along with it. Okay. Don't let that loose. Now you are going to put it by the side of the O. Hope you can see it from there. Remove the washer. Carefully remove this. Take this screw, put it into the O like this and bring it down. Then you take your phone holder and place it to the O like this, as you can see. So that means you want your smartphone to be the recording smartphone to be in portrait mode. This is where you are going to adjust it. Do you understand? Now, once you are okay with that, you can now use the washer first and use the screw to screw it. But in this case, I'll be using landscape because that is the video I do on YouTube. So I'll be making it landscape. So I'll go this way. Can you see that? Because the camera side will be facing this O. So I'll make it go this way and put the washer and screw it down. Okay. Once you are done with this, then you can now put your smartphone here. For example, if I'm going to be using my Samsung here, my Samsung camera should be facing the hole here like this. Okay. 
But because this is blocking it, because it's not wide enough, I have to release this guy to go up a little bit. So I'm going to release it a little bit, stretch it a bit up and screw. As you can see, there's a little bit of gap there. Now I can put my smartphone and it's going to hold it securely in there. Okay, so let me put the camera on. As you can see, it is seeing the hole. So if you don't adjust it well, it's going to block the camera hole. But if you adjust it very well, it's going to show directly. I hope you can see this, guys. Okay, as you can see, it's already seen everywhere. Just facing the hole of the best view teleprompter. So once you have done that, depending on your camera O, for example, I'm using an iPhone. So I'll be using an iPhone 12 Pro Max for that, which is what I'm using to record right now. I'll be using this cutout because my iPhone comes with this kind of cutout. I'll just remove this and mount it into this hole here. Okay. So once I mount it into this hole like this, it will fit the camera bump of my iPhone 12 Pro Max. But if you are using something like iPhone 8 or iPhone X, you can use this camera cutout. Okay. This is there just for the light not to be entering into the sensor of your smartphone. Because if light is entering into the sensor of your smartphone, it's going to cause, you know, blurry images somehow. So that is why all these cutouts are there. And if you have a round or a circular camera bump then you should be using this circular one okay so the rest of the accessories here are for big camera lens that is professional cameras and you also have this wiping cloth or cleaning cloth for the glasses so as you can see my hand is already putting some fingerprint there i can use this to clean it up and it will be as good as we want it so you can use that and here is the phone holder for your screen that is your smartphone so what you have to do is to come here and unscrew this guy here so i'll be unscrewing this like this unscrew it and let it come out this way okay so once i've done that the next thing to do is to now Take this and mount it here. There is a hole here, like this back here. Okay. There's a hole here. So we are going to mount it. Let me cover this because of reflection. So we are going to mount it like this. So let me quickly mount it. As you can see. I've just mounted it and that's it. Now you can use the second lock to lock it in place depending on how you know big or wide you want it to be. You can adjust this when you start shooting your video. So it will be shaking or going up and down depending on how you want it. Now this is where we are going to put our second smartphone. So there is this spring here. In case we want to adjust it, there is a spring here. So if you have something like a tablet that is not going to fit into this size, what you have to do is to unscrew the last screw here, unscrew it this way, and elongate it forward like this. Okay. Once you have elongated it, now screw it back. And you can now use it. As you can see, this should be large enough to accommodate your tablet. Okay. So because I'm using a smartphone, I'm just going to use the normal length size here. All right. So that is it. Let me secure it back. So we are good. So I'm going to use this. And you can now launch it. But before we do that, you know, you are going to mount it on a tripod. And then you now place your smartphone there. Now, I have a new tripod here that I'm going to be using. 
So here is the new tripod and I'll be using this head. Okay. So just let me unmount this head because that's where you are going to be using it. That's where you are going to be placing. Now you can now mount it to this guy here. That is mount this pin and screw it to the under one here. I hope you can see it. So once you put it this way, then you can now screw it and it's going to fix. Okay. It's as easy as that. So once you mount it securely in place, you are good. Now you can now mount it on the tripod. Let me mount it on my tripod now. And there you go. As you can see, it looks nice, right? So we have our teleprompter ready to go. Now all you have to do is to now put your smartphone by the back side here. Put your smartphone here. Make sure it is standing well. Put your smartphone here like this for recording. For the recording, as you can see, it is there. Okay, so you have no issue. Once you have done that, this is now a video, so everything is good and nice. You can now put your second smartphone here. So as you can see, it is already reflecting the side of this um, desk view app. Okay, I hope you can see it now. So that is it. So you can now screw it into position or just a little bit and that is how you use it so here is the remote okay so now we can use the remote to control it actually it is not facing up well if i want it to you know show very well then i have to adjust it a little bit just as i've shown you earlier okay adjust it from down here now it is playing i don't want it to play yet so if i want it to play just come to this remote here and select OK. And it will start playing your script. Okay. Now if you want to pause it, you can also press the same button to pause it. And it's going to pause. It's as easy as that. You can adjust this screen. Just as I said, you can adjust it to whatever length you want it. And if it's not OK for you, if it's not OK for you, you can still adjust this height of the teleprompter a little bit down like this. There's a screw at the back here that you can use to adjust it. Okay. You want to adjust it. If you want it to go up a little bit, you can also use the screw to, you know, go up a little bit and screw it down. As you can see, there's this screw here. That is what you are going to use. So if I want to adjust it down a little bit, I can just unscrew it at this back end here. Down. And that is it so sorry if i'm sounding a little bit far i'm actually a little bit far from the microphone try and understand me please <laughs> so once you are good that is how to set it up you can now start recording your videos with the t3 teleprompter it's as easy as that So, I can start right now. Best View Teleprompter have provides professional teleprompter display function. Users not only can edit text, but can also copy text into the app. When playing the text, users can adjust the speed of the playback, text size, font, and even background colors. Support multi-language playback mode and the menu can adapt automatically to your phone system language and that is it how is that <laughs> i know you guys can see it so that is pretty much it from my hand here let me quickly show you how it looks so this is how it looks from my end here 
as you can see it looks nice so teleprompter is good and if you want to get it please use the aliexpress link if you are ordering from aliexpress it's because you are going to get a little athlete commission and that is pretty much it and once you are done you can unmount your smartphone and unmount the second smartphone at the back so if you have any question or difficulty please drop it down there in the comment section and one more thing that i said i was going to share with you hopefully the the makers of this app are going to look into that now because if you are using this teleprompter there's tendency that your eyes is going to be showing that it is moving and it is reading something obviously to show that you are reading something from a teleprompter okay so it's going to look weird. so what you have to do here is to try and align your eyes on the green line here make sure your eyes is not going too far down or it's not going to to the side too much like this just make sure it is on this line you are reading on this green line here okay anything more than that is going to show that you are obviously reading from somewhere all right what i want to complain about this app is that you can't imagine it like you can't you know something like this let me show you quickly here this is another teleprompter app you can't make it you know stay in the middle like this so that it will show that you are reading something and your eyes is darting to the left or to the right okay i wish you can actually reduce it if you look at this app here i can go to the settings here if i increase the margin here the light down as you can see if this view develop, app developer can give us something like this that you can imagine it will be okay actually i'm using another app and the app is called teleprompter as you can see here so hopefully they are going to create something like margin so that we can be seeing and reading from the middle of the screen and not showing that we are you know our eyes is going from the left to the right or it is going down hopefully they are going to add this feature very soon so that's the only complaint i have about this desv app so that is all on the desview t3 teleprompter setup please note that you have to always cover your desk view teleprompter. You can use something like a clothing or an handkerchief, something like an handkerchief just to cover it so that dust won't get into it. I think that you should know. And also one more thing is to also clean the screen as in the mirror side every time you want to shoot your videos because sometimes your fingerprints um, stain or something on the screen is likely to show is likely to reflect when you are shooting your videos that is another thing you need to know and the last but not the least is practice make perfect you have to keep practicing before you be able to you know get old of how to use your teleprompter effectively so i'm just starting out also probably down the line i'm going to share with you long-term review of the desview t3 teleprompter and if Desview is listening to this, please make sure you give us a margin kind of update on the Desview app so that we can just reduce it a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any question, please drop it down there in the comment section. And I will see you on the next one. Please stay safe. Bye for now. Peace.